corrupt in order to conquer. This was a maxim by Giuseppe Massini, head of the Italian Carbonari. Hi, Steve Waldron here, Pastor New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. What was meant by that revolutionary term, we corrupt in order to conquer? Well, people with high moral standards tend to be very difficult to subjugate. What happens is when immorality hits a populace that there has to be strong governmental regulations put in to tame the savage beast. Immorality normally equals either anarchy or big government. And usually anarchy is going to lead to tyranny because somebody, a nimrod or something, is going to come and take over. So to corrupt in order to conquer, we need to remember that when we start getting into all the immorality. Remember, morals are absolute, but they are uh, absolute in a community sense. Ethics are absolutes in a fixed set in the laws of the universe created by Almighty God. Some people call it natural law, this type of thing. They're immutable. And so, um, again, be extremely careful when corruption happens in high places. Don't take the bait. Television, music, um, the internet even political examples when they tend to dismiss absolute standards. We, the kingdom of God is within if we're born again of water and spirit. We have to live according to the kingdom of God. Truth is a very powerful force. Lenin said facts are stubborn things. But let's just keep shining the light of truth, facts, being moral, godly, Christian people because you corrupt. Satan uses this principle to enslave people, to corrupt in order to subjugate, corrupt in order to conquer. So realize that revolutionary principles going on, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Maintain your morality. Maintain your ethics. God bless you today.